In this demo, we'll walk through creating a central repository for VMware tools using blob storage and the set tools repo run command for Azure VMware solution. We'll begin with downloading the latest version of VMware tools packages from VMware Customer Connect. From the Azure portal, we'll navigate to storage accounts and create a new one for our purposes. After verifying the subscription, we'll choose the resource group for the storage account to reside. In this case, we'll choose the same one as our AVS private cloud. Next, we need to provide a unique name. Then we'll select our desired region. Because we simply need a place to host a single zip file, we don't need any high performance features or geo redundancy. We can leave the rest of the storage account options as their defaults, review and create. Once the account is created, we'll create a new container for our zip file. The run command needs to be able to download this zip file, so we'll grant anonymous read access to the blobs in this container only. This means that the folder cannot be browsed, and the blobs can only be accessed by whoever has the specific URL for each blob. Next, we'll upload our VMware Tools zip file to the container, then look at the properties of the blob so we can copy the URL. Now we can navigate back to our AVS private cloud and select run command under operations. Expand the Microsoft AVS management package and select set tools repo from the list of available commandlets. After pasting the URL, click run. Selecting run execution status will let you monitor the commands being executed. Clicking the execution name will allow you to see basic details. We can see the output of the script, and under information, we can see the tools repo folder was created on the vSAN data store, and the product locker pointer for each ESXi host was updated to reflect this. In the vSphere client, we'll navigate to the vSAN data store and select files. If we scroll down, we can verify the tools repo folder and its contents. Looking at the recent tasks, you can see the product locker updates as well. Let's test our new centralized repo by finding a VM that needs its tools upgraded. Here you can see DB01 has an older version of VMware tools installed. We can upgrade them from here and watch the progress in the recent tasks pane. VMware tools is upgraded and the VM is rebooted. Once the VM is back online, we can confirm it's running the latest version of VMware tools. Microsoft continues to do an excellent job of providing additional features, capabilities, and flexibility through Azure Run commands for administrators to fine-tune their clusters without compromising security and management they're responsible for in the AVS private cloud. For the latest technical content and demos for Azure VMware Solution, check out the AVS landing page on VMware Cloud TechZone.